What's up, good foot? Yeah. yeah. David Little, working hard for the funny, and uh, I always have this fantasy about having a motorcycle. And uh, but there's a certain thing in this in this fantasy of mine. Instead of the woman, the hot woman mounting me from the back, there's a seat design, so she's mounting me from the front. Yeah. And which isn't always wise with your, you know, riding, you know, <laughs> vroom, 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 you know, and popping wheelies and vroom, 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 you know, and I guess in this fantasy and daydream of mine, uh, I actually die, you know, on a motorcycle. But nobody cries at my funeral because I got to come and go at the same time. I have been, uh, my reality is that I take the bus. I take a hell of a lot of bus and a lot of uh, max and public transportation. That's the reality I live in. And uh, I experience, I don't know if you ever experienced this, I call it eye pollution. Eye pollution. You know, I sit in the back, you know, I like to go, in, you know, I like to sit in the front because I like to see where I'm going, imagine I'm driving or something like that, you know. So I sat down right here and, you know, this lady, she sat in front of me, kind of cross, like within arm distance. And I just happened to be looking, she looked at me in the eye, I looked in her eye, and all of a sudden, that's when the eye pollution happened. I couldn't believe it, you know. Her index finger went up her nostril and almost poked out her eyeball in slow motion. At that point, I didn't care about, you know, civil rights or anything like that. I was going to the back of the bus. I mean, Martin Luther King would have given me a pass, you know, on that. I have a dream. He would have been, I have a nightmare. You sit in the back of the bus today, David. I dashed out. If the door was open, I would have dashed out the back of the bus. I said as far in the back as possible. To, there's something that happened. Isn't there something hypnotic that people that actually dig their nose, they, they get in that spacey thing and they think they're invisible and no one can see them. You may have experienced or seen something called, uh, I call it Portland uh, Polite Rage. Portland Polite Rage. That is when, this happened the other day, you know, saw this guy, I was standing waiting for my bus, and this guy was a pedestrian, was walking, and all of a sudden, you know, there's a driveway. He says to the driver, hey, you go ahead. You got the right away. Driver says, ah, you go ahead. Pedestrian, you go ahead. Drivers, no, 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 you go ahead. You go ahead, you go ahead. And they're starting to get a little more pissed off, but they're trying to be cool about it, you know, because they're just trying to, just something with the rejection, finally like, okay, one guy just blows, okay, all right, but next time, you go. Mexico. Mexico loves America now. We've been stimulating their economy. We've been, not, not from drug trade or anything. Not, not because of that. Well, maybe that too, but they're really happy about what's happening with their GDP and, uh, and the money they're making because uh, Donald Trump pinatas. Selling like hotcakes. Sell them like hotcakes. They buy them and they don't, they can't even get them out of the parking lot to go home to hang up in the tree. They're in the parking lot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Grandma. Grandma. Grandma's blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, how did you see that? <laughs> Anybody apply for the one-way trip to Mars? NASA. True. True story. NASA. We're, we're, we're colonizing Mars right now. We're in the process right now. They have, since August, no, since April of 2013, they've got 200,000 people that apply to go on a one-way trip to colonize Mars. Right now, they have 100 finalists for 24 positions. 100 finalists for 24 positions. I think we should have maybe three slots for celebrities. There's about three celebrities I can think of. 
for a one-way trip to Mars. You might think of some others, but who would you like as a celebrity to have a one-way trip to Mars? First one that comes to mind to me is Kanye West. Kanye West, I think he'd be great. Celebrity, one-way trip to Mars. It's simple. I mean, the math is it's simple. His, his ego, he's outgrown. His ego is bigger than planet Earth. His ego is bigger than planet Earth, and he just needs another, he needs another planet to inhabit his ego. Oh, one other thing, don't let me forget, to the female astronauts that will be part of this trip, if they find out they're going with Kanye West, he might make them famous. Look what he did for Tay Tay, Taylor Swift. Where would Taylor Swift be if it weren't for Kanye West? She'd be nothing. Some of y'all get upset. Some of y'all rolling with it. It's called sarcasm. The second, the second, the second person that I vote for, um, celebrity, one-way trip to Mars. This is really happening. I'm not making this up. They're having. We're colonizing Mars, folks. You know, we're colonizing Mars. I think we should have a second slot for Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, she's got her talent for making something out of nothing. She, she's a millionaire, she's a, look, she's a millionaire. How, why? She's, she's got special talent. I think they will be doing, ex they could do experiments with her. You know, she could form her own transportation service with injections in the booty <laughs> and start our own transportation service. This would be Kim Kardashian, Captain Kardashian, booty blimp service. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Woo! Every day on Mars would be a booty full day. Third and final person from Earth that could inhabit Mars. One way trip for science would be Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. It's been noted in through court records that he is an accurate face spitter. Justin Bieber is an accurate face spitter. And he could use his organic saliva of of uh, wet destruction to fire and hit alien intruders. <laughs> Justin, there's another one. <laughs> Go beeps. Okay, I'm gonna close with, recently, Mother Teresa, she was anointed to be uh, a saint. Um, there's another mother, Mother May I. She also sees herself as a saint against bad wiener behavior. Mother May I is a saint fighting bad wiener behavior. And you know, within the past few weeks, there's been, how should we say, a former congressman of New York, Anthony Weiner. He has been accused, alleged, that he's been sexting uh, his, uh, and using his four-year-old child as bait um, to sex to his uh, Weiner to women that are interested. And I guess it works, it's, it's, but Mother May I has uh, something to say about it, just briefly. Would you like to hear what she's got to say? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She kind of responds to a summons that if you haven't been here or ever seen her present, she kind of goes by like, you know, if you've ever read the games and they go clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp. And 
and she knows that she's being silenced. I'm not going to call her a genie because she'll get really angry. She's got a short temper. So anyway, clap, clap, stop. Mother, may I have you heard of me? I'm on a mission from God. I just got out the penitentiary. Pedophile priest really pissed me off. So I just got my ruler and I chopped it off. That missing private part made them repent and sing. Lord Mother, may I have mercy on me. 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 Anthony Weiner, I got you. I'm on your trail now. You can hide if you want to, but I don't know. They're talking about wiener rehabilitation. They talk about wiener counseling. They talk about wiener control. Anthony, I don't know if you rehab, I don't know if we can help you. But I know one thing is that I can make your ding a sting. Oh, you don't believe me, Anthony? Oh, okay. You keep texting, you keep hiding behind your pictures and texting. I can make your ding a ling sting. And you just wait and find out. I, I'm coming after you, Anthony. I'm, com I'm, I'm coming after you. Stop. Okay. <laughs> He's got me so upset. He got me so upset that uh, I, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to call my time and just let him know. You know, after Anthony, after I'm done with you, your name is going to be Anthony Wienerless. Got that? Anthony Wienerless. Okay. Anyway, you Lord have mercy. I'm just getting all uptight and everything, but that's what I do. I'm going to leave right now. And uh, if you turn the camera off, the camera off. Okay, leave the camera's off. Now where's David? Da I'm getting paid for this, David. Da David, I'm not getting paid. David, da what? Where's David? Oh, David, you you're running again, huh? Okay, you mess around. You're gonna find your erection in this collection. I want my money. I paid for this. Where's yeah? Lord have mercy. I'm loving man. Y'all have a blessed evening. God bless you. I'm going to go David. I'm going to go